a lot of these are like uh, RPGs. These are all like the ones they announced for. NBA 2K21, same thing as all the NBA 2Ks. No. Wait. It's, a, it's always going to be the fine. same. Destruction no, All Stars is just it's, you it's know battle royale. Uh, what do you call? Uh, uh, Rocket League. All right. Like if y'all look at 2K14 and compared to all the 2Ks that came out on the previous gen, it's a big difference. That's true. Dude, just uh, added more to that dude, bro. Straight. Good My court. VC. Man. Eternal looks interesting. They put a sweaty Kendrick Perkins on that mug. Don't oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited for a ghost. Little, little double inside. Eternal. And definitely. Sp- I'm excited. I have, I have a feeling I don't have any of these. Solar Axe looks pretty cool. Hell yeah, dude. Assassin's Creed, it's pretty yep. good. Give me Assassin's Creed, yep. Oh, yeah, Assassin's, been, Assassin's Creed, been trash. Man, I can't wait for you know Ooh. GTA. Uh huh. Terrible. Uh huh. No. Uh-huh, no. Oh, what's up? I wanted that shit. GTA 5.5. I'll be damned if I buy that for a third straight gen. <laughs> what's well, that? It's free. So, for like Battlefield first, 6? Court, court, Greyland, didn't I just tell y'all niggas yesterday I was all like, the only way I'm getting that bitch is this is free. Oof. Oh, I, feel sure like, I still ain't getting free. that much. I ain't downloading that much. Wait, Coconut, what list are you reading? Wait a I minute. hope they say this for free. Uh, The list that Justin gave me. Because that's Creed. That definitely was not on the show. Yeah. Oh, like, no, no. also has games in development, too. Yeah, these are uh, yeah games in, de- in development. Third party games. Yeah, yeah, Third party game. that watch though. Astro's yeah, gonna play that hacker game, bro. Fucking Warframe. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember this, but remember in PS3, there's this actual, uh, I don't know what it's called, but it was like a sim, a PlayStation Sims. Oh yeah, remember that shit? Yeah, but they used I remember I got it, and I was reasons, like, what bro. is this? No, it, it's it's terrible, bro. You walk next to somebody, and they'll report you, bro. <laughs> Ian used to, stay, used to stay on that hole telling us all these funny-ass stories to the shit you used to do. That shit was lit. Man, that looked terrible, man. They had an arcade. That shit was lit. PlayStation Home, bro. Had a bunch of little kids on there. Imagine, they'd be like, oh, just kidding. Last of Us Part 2, we're going to wait for a PS5. No, we're not releasing on PS4. GTA yeah, 5 is also right going to be in uh, PS6. <laughs> but we'll get into it. PS6. <laughs> PS6. <laughs> That'd be funny, bro. Another Fuck. GTA 5, PS6. GTA, it is going to be on the PS6. I'd be like, damn, are y'all, gonna even, are y'all even thinking about GTA 6 at that point, bucko? Hey, man, I've been having real big smoke with Rockstar, dog. So, PlayStation 5 was revealed. How does everybody feel about it? Like the overall look of the console? It's a router. No, I'm weak. <laughs> <laughs> it looked it, it look better than the it looked better than the refrigerator box though. That's true. That's true. The X fridge. Yeah, that that coffee uh, table. That one literally looks like a, a miniature boom box. Somebody been like- saying the PS5 look like a mop. So I mean, I don't a, a what? Mop? Ah, what? Yes, huh? That's what I that's what I heard. I it's saw it. I, I disagree <laughs> with it, but somebody got a futuristic mop. Oh, oh, you know what it looked like though. Look, um, what's it called? The power switcher. <laughs> it looked like uh, it looked like the binder I used in high school. Dude, that might look nice though, bro. The white and black, something new. Yeah, I, I it definitely does. Look. Looks that's gonna get really uh, dirty. Box. It looks better than the. The first PS4 uh, console, the launch one. Oh, the Slate? Yeah, I, I don't like that shit. That shit didn't look right at all. I, I, like I still have it. It, it works. works. That's all I care about. I definitely like how the common color now is white. I like how they have like two tone controllers now. I'm going to need that mug in blue, though. They'll probably make a, a two tone um, blue controller in probably like a year. Yes, sir. 
Then they'll probably come out with the black PS5 after like yes, a year. Yes, sir. Or probably get a bad one. Cool too. Yeah. They're gonna have special editions, so I, I saw one. Honest. I saw one, and it was like blue. It was not not blue. It was like black and red, and I was like. It's constantly giving me some Batman Beyond vibes, and I'm already fucking with you. <laughs> it wouldn't that be it, something? Batman Beyond game by we're Rocksteady. We're not getting that. We're not getting that. <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you, we're not getting that. I'm just throwing that out there. Don't even get your hopes up, Warwolf. We ain't getting that shit. Sorry. Well, besides the design, how well do you think it'll handle cooling and overheating? I think it looks uh, pretty I, good on that. I never had I never had a console that overheated before. Uh, I think at this point, I mean I'm not saying it's <laughs> like what? the white the white parts on the side, do you think it's there just for aesthetics or do you think it actually designed for you know cooling or something else? Well um, I, hardware. I read that they have a whole pause on the back that uh, where it like all the dust and all of that extra shit just exit out instead of like a fan, like it goes through a fan and then it exits out the back of the hole in the back of the console. Mm. Like, Sounds like a health risk. <laughs> Wear your mask when you're playing your PS5. I'm dead. I got allergies, so if I'm if I'm having that, I'm gonna be sneezing all over the place. Yeah, you're probably, <laughs> um, you're probably shredding the shit and what on um, shredding the shit. What's That's not going to stop me. That is true. I don't care about the dust. Yeah. My game has never overheated before in his life. Definitely hasn't. It just depends on where you got it set in it. I mean, if you got it set up in a, a, a freaking packed area, of course it's not overheat. You got to yeah. breathe. True. Yeah. The this last time my up. console overheated was the PS2, the, the fat version. Dang, I didn't know those was on the Boy, my PlayStation 2 ain't ever... Never overheated. Well, it's because the, my console was on the floor and it was pretty old. Like it, it was, oh, yeah. it was way past its time. You, and, you can't put that mug on. You can't put no console on the floor. I think the the PS3 that I had it overheated. I actually opened it up and I found out there was barely any thermal paste on the CPU itself. Huh. Yeah. So I end up putting new CPU or new thermal paste on it to make it like you know back to normal and shit. You think I, did, I wasn't gonna pay extra to like get it fixed. Hell no. You think you just didn't put enough in the beginning? I, that's what it looked like because it just looks like a little small dot and just turned black. And I was like, "What the fuck is this?" What it looks like it just got burnt. So I know, probably couldn't measure it right when they were building it for real, right? But no, I put out more thermal paste and it worked normally right after that. Cleaned it out and it was working. Well, if you do that with the Xbox, though, everything breaks. Yeah, I wouldn't do that with an Xbox. Which one right. are y'all thinking about getting? The digital or the one with the Blu-ray? The, the, the normal disc version? The Blu-ray. Yeah. Personally, I don't think I'll ever buy a console. Uh, considered I only I had a PC for a while. But, like, I don't know. I might buy it for a nostalgic factor for, like, maybe my little brother, but that's it. Wait, what's better, the digital or the the for the disc? Like, what do y'all like, let, let I, get? I like digital. I'm well, getting, I'm, let me ask you: Do you watch movies at all? I mean, I watch movies. Like, so I'm getting the disc. Do you have a 4K TV? Yeah. Then you should get the Blu-ray uh, version. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not ever going to get a console that don't take disc, bro. I think that's kind of stupid. Hmm. Only reason I'll consider the digital if it's like a significant uh, price difference. And They'll probably how be like fifty dollars. Yeah, you and you know they don't tax on uh, digital prices. But yeah, I don't, I don't do it because like certain games be having like wait they don't pre tax like, like um, pre order bonuses, bro, for like disc and stuff. So. Well, it, it depends on where what what state you're in. Yeah, like, I know. I, I'm, in Texas, they tax it now. Texas like four dollars. California doesn't tax at all on digital games. I, I get a lot of digital games, and I, I have to uh, when I uh, when I buy my games, like I use the cards. I have to pay like ten dollars extra just to be over that tax uh, number. It varies, but I know it's always a four dollars. I don't know about the cents, but it's always four dollars. If it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. Shut the fuck up. 
<laughs> well, I feel like <laughs> like missile games, you can get more really deals with them. And plus, you can buy them secondhand too. Like, you can't buy digital games secondhand. Man, like, have, y'all should say, I was going to have my games as a digital half of them disc. But mm-hmm. I feel like going to GameStop and pre ordering my stuff. Man, I haven't gone to GameStop in years. <laughs> oh, GameStop. We had a whole I just time. recently went to GameStop, but it wasn't for me use. <laughs> I mean, I got my Call of Duty on disc. I got the little night vision goggles version, so can't get that digital. Mm-hmm. True. Definitely got the night goggles. Night goggles. Well, considering okay. the digital version, do you think it'll boast a higher SSD? Like no, I think I, I think it's like more of a, more of like of a slim version, but I think it's gonna be less equal or less. The digital version is going to have. 825 gigabytes SSD in the not, not even a terabyte. Yeah, that's one that's crazy. Because huh. if you look at games right now, example like uh Call of Duty, bro, of Duty. literally that's their game is entire fucking storage in a console if you don't have a terabyte. That's yeah. crazy. They said they said they was gonna that's fix that. why I didn't even purchase it. Because you're not a gamer. <laughs> No. I'm looking at the gigabytes right now on the Xbox. It's Y'all 187. Told me anyway. So what you mean? <laughs> well, have they confirmed if you could use a external SSD on? Uh, I'm looking at the digital. I don't really see it. I can't really find the. Uh, yeah, they ain't got they ain't got no specs out for that digital. Yeah. I would assume they would though, just because the PS4. Oh, expandable storage is an SSD yeah. slot, so I feel like you could put whatever storage you want. Okay, well that's that's good. Yeah. Uh oh wait, no, there's more to it. External storage USB HDD support. So oh, there's two type of port is. So there's oh, yeah, two of so them. You, you can just so plug yeah. in a, a hard drive to it then. Yeah, you can put it on a hard drive and then you could put in uh a SSD. That oh, that means okay. you could expand That's it good. a lot. Yeah, I'll just use my external and that way I don't have to re download everything. Yeah, you can really like, port on it. Two terabytes for game. Jesus. That's not how that works. That's all right, totally so. different data. <laughs> sure. But from all the leaks I see, it seems like it's going to be two terabytes. Especially if the target leak is real, which I don't think it is. Cause it is not fucking real. Two terabytes for $400? Yeah, I, I, I don't. Heck no. Bullshit, for dude. a new console, I don't know. Wishful thinking. I think... Well, before what I think, what do y'all think the price is going to be for... Seven hundred. Seven hundred to eight hundred. Seven hundred. Saying it's like you told me that one time in my house. Nigga, y'all nigga. This nigga licked me. Data my face. Well, have they have a price for the Xbox? This boy told me, I hope you got eight hundred (laughs) dollars. It might be eight hundred. I yeah, mean, but like on the high end, yeah. Man, I mean, like man, the total, man. the total cost is gonna be that anyway, because you're gonna want to buy a second controller, that's like sixty. You're gonna want to buy at least a game or two, that's like over a hundred right there. I feel like what <laughs> Sony, Sony might do is take a loss on the first wave of PS5s, like how they did with the PS3, and maybe it'll charge five to six. Yeah, they'll the probably system. charge five to six. Like five for digital, six for the. This. and then if you want yeah. to get more storage then you know hundred dollars for like another terabyte or something yeah then eventually they'll come out with like the maybe like a ps5 pro and then the ps5 slim after like a couple of years yeah i think but, it might uh, be better for them to take the loss at first just so they can get you know customers you know because they know a, a bunch but, of people are gonna buy it there's gonna be some people that's gonna buy it. i don't, it I don't with, think i don't think they're gonna take a loss because people you know playstation got all the exclusive names now the xbox mm-hmm. don't got so they gonna want to get it regardless. Players can get all the DLCs first, and they get all the exclusives. So they gonna want to get it. I think it would be smart for them to like take a, a from the console itself, but recuperate that money through the games and the controllers and all the other. I mean, well, I, that's the point of the yeah, digital because yeah. the yeah. digital console, anything they sell digital on their PSN store, it they get all profit off of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's what they're making the digital. They're trying to put GameStop out of business. Or disc out of business, at least. Do you think? I mean, it's going towards a majority of gamers are all digital. Do you think the PS5 will be like the next AirPod meme? 
<laughs> the, I feel that's the best one, best game. But I watch I watch movies though, and I don't, I'm not about to go to the PSN store and buy they overpriced 4K Blu-ray. Yeah, no, that's a little bit much. I refuse, but I go to the store and buy my own Blu-ray. Not PSN prices. All right, well let's let's think about it. Like, how much we're going to spend day one for the console? Because you're going to buy the console, and a lot of people are probably going to buy an extra controller. And they're gonna definitely yeah. buy at least one game. So I'm right nice. there, yeah. the console. Let's say if you well, get a digital one, five hundred dollars. If you get another, uh, you're gonna at least probably end up like, spending about maybe like, seven hundred. Yeah, probably like seven hundred. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're spending more. Than well, that. I'm never, I've never a thousand. I've never usually been. But it really depends. But it really depends on like how much like the actual console cost itself. Like uh, if it's honestly, if it's like they like told me that one day where it's eight hundred, then yeah, we'll nah, they they, they, off. It's they gonna, would gonna be a thousand. They would they, they would never nah, they would never do eight hundred dollars. Okay, they, look, but, I'm gonna look up the PS3 nah, heck, original nah. price. It's six hundred dollars. <laughs> it was five hundred. I'm gonna look it up and then I'll adjust it with inflation. So let's see. Key key, bro, it's just like I told so you. So the twenty gig mod- model for the PS5 was five hundred dollars when it came out. So. What mm. it came out in 2006, November 2006. Right. Man, he said 20 gig though. The original came with 60. Oh no, they had a 20 gig and a 60 gig. Yeah, I was gonna Excuse. say everybody got everybody got a 60, but I don't know not one person ever got a 20. Bro. All right, let's assume you get a uh, 60. So that's 600 dollars right there. Yeah, that's so, yeah, so why I said 600. Nobody ever got that. Okay. Sorry, old 20 gig. Nigga, you gonna run out of space in an hour? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've never met anybody got a twenty gig. I had I had a six, then I had an eighty. I had like a metal Metal Gear Solid edition with eighty gigs. Yeah, I remember when I got it, it came with Metal Gear and Ridge Racer. I think. Yeah, that's the eighty gig version. Yeah, it came in the came in the big old Metal Gear Solid box. Mm. All right, what is the inflation? Six hundred dollars in two thousand six is equal to six hundred sixty three dollars today. Yeah. Fuck! I was gonna say I don't think I don't think they'll ever go over six hundred. Well, that's the highest price for any console ever, bro. So I think they'll always stick at that price. I think they might they might go seven hundred for like the highest tier PS Five. So yeah, like, like I mean, yeah. y'all got y'all gotta also factor in they're kind of still doing doing that market testing and like yeah. waiting on Microsoft to reveal their price. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I was gonna say I feel like they got like three different prices in their head. And they just waiting forever. Microsoft unveil it first, and then that's what they'll ever go with. How y'all feel Both like, companies are gonna screw us over and so, like say eight hundred dollars. How y'all feel about those? How y'all yeah. feel about those? That's how y'all feel about those that's saying that they don't like to get the system, the first uh, few systems that come out first because those are the ones that typically mess up the quickest. Well, I ain't never had a, a defect game before, so Same I'm getting here. mine first day. I can't afford to wait because. But if you play on these consoles, but they're gonna sell out, and then you're waiting for another two weeks for somebody to restock them. Uh, Usually, these- whenever the, these consoles come out, it's always like a big rush to get them because it's in holiday season. Yeah, and so people are paying maybe twenty yeah. percent extra on the aftermarket for them. They will. So. They go on eBay because mm-hmm. I remember I bought like a couple. We bought like a couple weeds when they first came out. You know that was like the new thing, bro. <laughs> yeah, you, you know what I'm saying. You sell, you get a couple, bro, and market was like a hundred extra dollars, bro. Exactly. Don't they have then you gotta like, look protection? at the pandemic too, because it's been a struggle. I couldn't even get a switch at work. Like I had to pay resale on that joint just to get it. So just that's imagine weird. resellers just now that's a thing where they're anything that pops up on the site, they got bots and they buy them up or they're waiting mm-hmm. outside of stores copying them. Yeah, I think this that's might what... be the first console I buy on a release day because like, that's I'm on console, I waited months. like a month. Yeah, um, I got I had... I had, I had to get mine day one. I, could, I couldn't help myself. I waited a few months before I got my PS4, if not a few weeks. And so, yeah, this this is going to be my first time getting a console first day, though. That's for sure. I understood PS4 because it didn't, like, for the longest, for a good two years, it, it was called the Indie Station because Indie Games, like, there was, it was a shitty lineup. You know what made me buy the <laughs> PS4 when they said they were going to do Kingdom Hearts 3 on it? I'm like, okay, that that's what made me get it. Yeah, because that's, that's a console. So. I waited four years, and they finally released it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
that's how I felt when I waited at, at Black Friday mm-hmm. for a PlayStation. They and they didn't tell us the three hours later at Walmart, like, hey, we only got three PS4s and one Xbox One, which I ended up taking the Xbox One because I'm like, hey, I stood here all this time. I'm not going to waste my fucking time. We get something. Yeah, I, I think like, I okay, did. Yeah, I think I went Halo to Walmart. Gears. Yeah, Walmart. Yeah, yeah, I had to wait for that Halo and Gears. I was like, all right, I can't wait for this shit. And Forza? Yeah, and more, I was about to say that. <laughs> and Forza. I didn't get that fucking Gears to like, what, four years later? That That's when it came out? Mm-hmm. So. Man, man, man! Mainly everybody's first first day lineup games be trash. It'd be a bunch of new developers coming out with some BS campaign games. That's how I felt watching the shit, man. Oh, well, they... I mean, well, let's I, let's uh, go yeah. into that. What's let's, let's, that. let's look at the games. So I I put a list in the chat uh, for you guys to look at. <laughs> and I guess let's uh, why don't we all talk about our favorite game or most anticipated game first. Spider-Man, 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 Spider-Man. We already, we already knew you were We, we already Spider-Man. know. We, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have I mean, such a hard on for him. Yeah. Bro, yeah. all the games, all the games I want for PS5 is going to come out before it comes out. New mm. 2K, Madden, Call of Duty, they all going to come out on the PS4. Yeah, well, let's just stay terrible first. And then we can go with other games. I wouldn't say terrible. I was okay with like maybe a, at least a third of them. Man, look, they came out with a bunch of games and nobody going to You don't think Spider Man or. I mean, but but they were, but they were known. I'm talking about the, the mother movie. type game. I mean, yeah, like Spider Man 2K, like people going to buy that regardless. You're talking, talking about mother like. Regardless. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, like. like the... I think it's too soon to. Assume anything, because they look pretty fun. Like, and what was that other one? Uh, GTA. Uh, <laughs> we're not talk about that. We're not talk about that. You know, let's talk, talk about it because I, I want to. I want to roast Rockstar, and I want y'all to think about, about this shit. Because at first I was like, ah. Oh. It's nothing, I guess. So they were having it on three different generations. This is, but they led. I, I want to to, they led with it. No, no, it was no. the thing they showed us too. That is true. They literally getting a million dollar stimulus check to all the PS4 players. Yes, yeah, every month. month, every single month, you get a million dollars. Like that's supposed to be a lot of GT. That's, that's not the, the issue. I want y'all to think about it. for the last generation. We haven't gotten a single well, new GTA no, 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 game. No, for for Xbox 360 and PS3, I want y'all to think about the games that come. You got mm-hmm. Max Payne, Bully, Red Dead, GTA 4, GTA 5. What do we have this? GTA 5. GTA? No. Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead, no. yeah. Dude, Red Dead, Red Dead is so dead as fuck. Start. If we total, let it's me in the know, name. Hold on. Let, I, me, I, let me get this. I, me, I want y'all this. to think. Right. 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 I'm about to cock back that, some real ammo right now, boy. Say it, man. Say it. Oh. This, this is late. Fuck, Rob. That's <laughs> fuck. They've really been, not only, but they just been on a mid-fall, man. They just been dropping constant. Like, in a plateau, man. They they in a slump. Rock stars in a. Slump. They passed their prom. If you ask my, if you if you ask if you, if you ask me. And, and I, I won't say pass. And look down. They sure did. So to their brand and company with him stepping down. Now it's like, okay, what's gonna happen now? And then. At a point now to where Naughty Dog is starting to overcome Rockstar as of currently, you know, because Naughty Dog is dropping gym. Man, Rockstar gets too complacent, bro. They they've got too complacent. Feel too comfortable up at the top. They, they got too comfortable. But they, they but I wouldn't necessarily they at the top because there's no other game like it though. So they competing with themselves only, but. 
I mean, I yeah, like whenever GTA Five come out, it's no other. Order. I wouldn't even say whenever a Rockstar game come out, it's no other game like it. So it's like they can compete with themselves. It's, a, it's the same it's the same thing with sports games. Like only one company, like say like Two K only make like Two K only make NBA or whatever. EA don't make um basketball games, so they just don't compete with themselves. So they don't like, have like it's going no sell urge to get better. They don't have they don't have no urge to get better because they know that the person. Know. Which is GTA, only game and, just like that. And the thing about GTA is, man, the thing about GTA is, okay, I understand if we was to actually sit right there with them motherfuckers and ask them what's going on with GTA, what can you do, what are you not doing, I'm probably sure their argument against us would be, look at the money that we're still making from this game that's seven going on eight years old, which is true, that's valid. In the milk, but, every but, single drop of but we can from this. Man, I feel like G- GTA no, was at its best no. when people wasn't playing online. But yeah, you're also you're. But what you're also giving, but what you're also getting your money from is from the gamers itself. And now, especially when we've done every fucking thing that's under the sun to be played on that game, you know what I'm saying? Then of course we're gonna want something new. Every day, for one, I don't know if you guys are like have been on like avid like gta online players but it's like they haven't put they haven't put any new housing on there like they haven't like opened up new houses or anything like that's probably my, they ain't like, doing shit problem. on there that's, that's probably my main problem they still haven't they put the mansions on there they, no 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 that's crazy all of them houses is on there my god and they're just using those for fucking prop literally i'm with and, and that's that's what it is. They they definitely that's that's why I stopped playing. But like they had the same four heists for at least like four years. <laughs> oh, I think like four years. and and then look, hold on. And then of course they're dropping new cars uh, every Thursday, uh, every week, every Thursday of every week. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, and those cars be mid. They don't even be top speed. You only get like once, like every two months, where you actually get a car that's now the best like top speed car in the game and then okay now they're starting to uh, to the point they did announce that they're giving gta players a meal every till the they want to they want to cook bro not with war with war with queen that nigga uh, make got now at the this legend. point the game is 8 years old now so i'm probably sure that them niggas then got the message like twenty thousand times, a million dollars is in GTA currency. Inflation no, a bitch. I, I still want to know. Like, they need to come out and say why, why they can't make a new game. If Sony can make a whole another console in seven, they can make a goddamn game in seven years. Yeah, a I game. Mean, I, I was, a I was game. Really, I felt really. really they don't want to. They I felt they, they can uh, easily yeah, do. Yeah, man, look, I really felt like. Life got came for when they said, "Oh, just now in the early development." What? And that's like three years to develop type games, but so I'm telling you, we ain't gonna see GTA until at least twenty twenty three. Like, bro, bro. like GTA <laughs> four, G- GTA four. That game was definitely a huge release because it was it, it was eight years after San Andreas, which particular. Uh, Known to be the greatest GTA game in the whole franchise. That's that, my second favorite. That game came. That game came out four. Uh, I mean, yeah, four years after that, and then yeah. 2008, and then GTA Five. In 2013. In 2013. Yeah. 2013. Like, right, Man. I don't know what the they, whole thing is for this. Aside for them dropping Red Dead Two, which is in that my ain't opinion, no that, excuse, that, bro. That, that game was big. They don't. That's really they don't. Not no excuse. They, they don't. They don't take their top developers and work on. They like. They say like they side developers and work on them type game. You know, and then it's like, okay, man, this they want to. I. I. <laughs> they think they slick because they want to go ahead and occupy us. You know what I mean? And keep our mouth shut by them throwing that and uh, expand it and enhance. <laughs> Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be enhanced graphics because it's on a new console. 
Like, be, like you know what I'm saying? Like, go figure. But it's and not going to be 60 frames. Not, not an open world. <laughs> hell like, no. Hell no. And hell no. Muff like be 30 always, frames. And hold on. And like always. The, 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 hold on. And like always. Per usual, the GTA world on PC will be one step ahead of the because niggas is actually modding real life cars onto that game right now. All right, here's the game I want to talk about. Stray. The uh, one I game no where you can play as a cat. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like Animal Crossing, but Cat Crossing. They'll they'll call that Cat uh, Crossing. Uh, yeah. No, no, that's a that's a. It's like that's where all the humans are gone, right? Yeah, it's like it looks like a Blade Runner type environment, and you know it's all robots, but you get to play as a cat. At least that's what it looks like for the trailer. Yeah, that, that's what it is. That's what this description is. I mean, was. that might be good, but I'd be feeling like some of them games, they just, like, only good for a week. Like, if I can beat stuff in a week, I have no other purpose to playing it again in my life. That's every story game, though. I know, that's why I do. But it's They're kinda... throwaway Ooh. games. Did you say that's every story game? Yeah. I mean, it's not, yeah, JRPG? because put it, put it like this. Some people are more multiplayer that's and me. There's people that just play single player. Yeah, like, I can't play for mo games. No. Yeah, like one of our friends, Afro. That's really what all he plays is just like single player game. Yeah, it's not like really... most of us were playing Persona Five right now, and like he's easily sank in a couple hundred hours. And you know, it's just a single player game. I'm a hundred thirty hours of the game. I'm still haven't beaten it. Jesus, that's so it long. really is a bad <laughs> way too long. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a JRPG, so yeah. it's, it's what you expect. Okay, no, Gran Turismo just... 7, guys. No. Not surprised. Yeah. It's, it's I wish they would have showed a lot more, though, because yeah. racing games is usually what's the most Bro, high performance. These, these new consoles yeah. had no good racing games. I wouldn't say that. Nintendo did it nah. better. All look, all the all <laughs> the PS2, all the all the PS2, and I guess Xbox Need for Speed was like top. These PS4 and Xbox One Need for Speed is terrible. And Need for Speed was like the most popular racing game ever, bro. I think That's it's for a racing EA game EA for it problem. to be. I mean, yeah, it is fun. Yeah, either it has to be like unique, or. It has to be super realistic, like how Gran Turismo tries to go for. But to be super realistic, you need to buy the whole rig. You need to buy the steering wheel and the pedals. I, and I, I've actually got that for PS2, bro. I used to sit down with like the pedals. I, I, yeah. I, I definitely remember that yeah. with the whole steering. So it's like a but whole other. Nobody's experience. gonna do that no more. I don't think. Yeah, it's seriously, <laughs> like just just buy a car. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, but you might as well buy a car if you're gonna get down on your butt and be driving on a, a game steering wheel. Like, the reason why Mario Kart does so well is because it's not purely racing. Yeah, it's fun, bro. It's competitive it's competitive fun. Mm-hmm. You got items. And plus, Mario is legendary. Yeah. But I feel like um the new console, plus they need an um, off-road racing game, too. I, I used to play, like, ATV and dirt bike games on, mm-hmm. on PS3. Well, they had that one game. Uh, what was the name of like, it? Like, I used to have, like, M- was it MTV or... Versus, it was ATV versus MX Reflex on PS3, something like that. Oh, the the game they showed off, Destruction at All Star. Oh, that has no. a cool element to it. And I really want to see what's the uh, on foot element because it seems like you can, you can fight on there. Oh, racing cars and all that. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. It's kind of like a uh, not it's a death like race. Rocket Rocket League and Fortnite, Fortnite. together. Yeah. Yeah, Wait, that's, did, that's what did y'all ever play motor, um, motor, motorcross or motor, um, motor, it was like Mo- motorcross on PS3? Right? Yeah. yeah, it was a like a, it was like an off road mm-hmm. game with like doing buggies and cars and bikes. Oh, they yeah. need something like they, but they need something like that. I swear, with no games like that on the PS4 or Xbox, yeah, I mean, they I mean, need the like an off road like, game. Fun, fun racing game they had was Twisted Metal. Twisted Metal was a good game, yeah, that was yeah. pretty yeah. dope, man. They need a fun online off-road game. But they don't need to be developing those no more for some reason. Well, I guess it kind of fell off. But I guess it's been well enough. And come. You know what game I hated the most out of the Goodbye, Volcano. Oh, my God. That game looks <laughs> disgusting. Was that even a game? Dude, what is that? A game. I got to look at that again. It is. It's pretty you get, bad. You play What's it called? a scaly. 
Goodbye, Goodbye Volcano Scaly. Oh, oh my okay. god, that's the name. Like, this game <laughs> looks like it was developed by a certain section of Tumblr. This is like, like comic book graphics. The freak is this? Goodbye, Volcano High. This is fucking weird, dude. God, that I, looks I like a fucking furry game. game. <laughs> I know. I hate it. I hate it. I so was much. cringing so fucking hard. I started slouching in my seat. And I was watching a guy named Dan's Gaming who was streaming it, and he was doing the same shit I was doing. Whole fucking chat was going insane. Reminds me of uh, that one fucking game. What's it called? Uh, Life is Strange? Yeah, That's what it reminds yeah. me of. What a shitty version of it, though. This volcano, <laughs> this volcano game looks terrible. Oh, I, I bet there's, there's going to no be something game? about, like... Uh, it looks like, look, look like a goddamn TV show. It's like a visual My novel. <laughs> It's about a goddamn volcano. How is that like? Of, of course, it's gonna look more. You play this look like a TV show, show bro. Disgusting. We not just in geology, end, nigga. There's a meteor that actually hit. Oh, just to end the game. I mean, look at the yeah. That's probably what's gonna happen. Probably it's stupid. This right, is this is, is the liberal agenda. Unless you ass playing as a dinosaur and you gotta fight other dinosaurs to a meteor fucking hit and we all die, that's the only way that game might be even somewhat remotely mm-hmm. interesting. This is Man. like the pinnacle indie game development. Like, <laughs> like when people play indie games, this is what I think about. Man, they should have released goddamn Overwatch 2 on this PS5, but people went crazy on this. Bro, I don't think Overwatch 2 is gonna even hit. No, nah, I mean, no, nah, they said it was in works like earlier this year. No, I mean, like, I don't think it's gonna be like one of those top games. Um, they should make it to a movie. Already. Niggas, re- Niggas really only played that because of the porn. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep it. No, 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 no. That was your friends, but ain't nobody no, over no. here watching Overwatch porn. No, no. Rule 34. I'm talking about, in general. I'm talking about in general. Rule 34. <laughs> We know we know what type of nasty shit you're in, okay? Like we don't judge here. That boy over there watching watching Tracer and Soda seventy six have sex and stuff. That's <laughs> mercy ain't no fuck. <laughs> Anyways, uh, another game that bothered me was a uh, Hitman three because it wasn't me. any game- gameplay or anything, and that's another this whole thing. Like, I-, I wasn't asking for gameplay, but it's like, damn, y'all showing this shit that. Just yeah, they 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 show like cinematic trailers, which is like it doesn't it doesn't do any because the game don't look like. It. Well, it depends really on the developers too. Like when you look at like a cutscene, a Naughty Dog game, and like a God of War game, nine times out of ten, that's still gonna be looking the same as the gameplay. Yeah, but in that Hitman trailer, they literally show like like the dude's face and like them outside, and like that was that's mm-hmm. it. <laughs> gameplay, not even like a game engine, like. Barely I think in my head, like, bro, they wasted like two minutes of the PS5's reveal. You wasted it. I mean, it wasn't as is... much of a waste of time as Goodbye Volcano High. Oh, no, no, no. Of time. Of but my thing is, it's like, he's showing, like, oh, this is like early development, but the game's supposed to come out in January of next year. So that's a little bit worrying. Yeah. yeah. But a game that. Has some promises. Uh, Ghostwire Tokyo. Oh, like, I think that's ooh, a that dope ass So cool. Which one? Ghostwire, Ghostwire Tokyo. Tokyo. It looks like it's it's made by Bethesda, and so the gameplay looks a lot like Skyrim, but it takes place in Tokyo, and you play as like an exorcist, and you go around hunting like yokai and urban legends and stuff. Oh, like, really this fight, one. Like, okay. The little girl from the ring or something. Yokai really watch. Cool. This yeah, the uh, watch. Uh, video where the guy was <laughs> like doing I'm hand like, motions. Yeah. yeah, he was doing jutsu. <laughs> yeah, that hey, looks interesting. Say, hey, what, what do y'all think the um like the PS5 or Xbox um oh, like um freaking free games are gonna be? You, you know, like that War, volcano War game. <laughs> no, I was gonna say you know how PS4 came with oh, yeah, Warframe. Warframe free, loadout. Yeah. I, I, I I used to play loadout. The PS5 is coming with Astro's Playroom. Like it's gonna be preloaded on. Yeah, it's it's so you can test out all the um, features of the controller. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say because PS4 had had a couple of free games that I play a lot, like Loadout. I tried mm-hmm. playing Warframe a little bit. Yeah. Some other games. And they already confirmed Fortnite will be on there as well. I mean, yeah, well, well we all right. knew that. And then you know oh, GTA again. You know that's gonna be on there free if you have PS Plus, of course. Yeah. Yeah. 
I was gonna say, hopefully they free game is good. Hopefully they come out with a game like Rocket League. Like Rocket League first came, it got so good they started charging for it, and then they bring it to Xbox. Start charging. And then it became an E-League game. It was ridiculous. That's another problem with this uh, reveal. They didn't touch on the backers' compatibility, and they kind of... I, mean, I don't know uh, they, 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 already, they already did. Though. I thought they, they hinted said, at it. They did, they said, no. They already yeah, said, they said, almost, games on it. they said almost all PS4 games is going to be on there. Yeah. yeah. And that's bullshit. That's kind of bullshit, and especially... That's like, bullshit the, considering how... Reveal, they show, like... Uh, Empty slots. Because um, I don't yeah. know if you guys remember the rumor was it was supposed to be all the way back to PS4. All the way back to PS4. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Man, check yeah. this out, man. I was really pissed when I found out that it wasn't going all the way back to PS. You yeah. know? Of why? course. Why? Because I want to play skate, damn. Uh, <laughs> Sony has never really been like never really been one for backwards come compatibility. Like they might just do it just to shut us up. But we can't, we can't say that because PS3 was backwards compatible. I mean, yeah, yeah PS3. Yeah. And then and, 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 and PS2 was backwards. Was backwards compatible. And then you got to look at, at your competitor Xbox. They their backwards comp all the to the original. original. So yeah. it's not all the games. It's yeah. A lot of fucking games. But so, I, but I, at first, I was mad, but then I realized I was like, I first of all, I still got all my consoles back to the PS One. I got, I still got them all right here. But I, I'm not really gonna play them old PS Two and PS Three games when I got the PS Five. Mm-hmm. Like I might pick them up once a month. Like, hey, I want to play Budokai Tenkaichi Three like once every. Other than that, like I'm not really gonna play backwards games. So I, I sure damn well, do. It's, you, it's, I sure it's, damn do. You can take an L right now, nigga. Hey, I got, I got mine, that, bro. PS Two got online. What's <laughs> Wait, I thought they shut down the servers for it. No, they no, didn't. They didn't. Uh, they no. didn't? Huh. Oh, yeah, look. That, that, that's the problem with bad compatibility. Most of them old game servers is shut down. All of them. Yeah, it costs money yeah. to keep them open. So yeah. Like... That's all I was like. I'm not really worried about it. You can play a bunch of campaign games. Like, yeah, I downloaded I mean, the like, PS Now. Like... And all them servers were shut down. 2013 and down, but they all gone. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like, games like Ninja Gaiden, that one's have the best enhance on Xbox One X. Like, you, you can see the difference. Because I try to play that shitty PS Now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you can add I, seven. I, I, I had that. Ranging. It was it so was, bad. It was hilarious. The interface is terrible. Like, it's it's not the same as the original. Cause, like, I don't know what Sony was thinking with that. As, as a company, why would you want to make it backwards compatible if you can base, like make more money off of releasing ports and rematches? Yeah, that's true. Well, the <laughs> thing is, they get the license back, which Xbox has done, and people are rebuying those games. So they're mm-hmm. they're making money, just like when Modern Warfare Two, because everybody was asking for that. Yeah, for years they came out. They came out with the campaign. <laughs> oh no, no, not the not the remaster. I mean, the like the backwards comp. Because when oh, they first okay. announced, it was top on the list. They were like, okay, here's the games you can vote for what you want back. And Modern yeah, they Warfare Two, they they all vote for the Call of Duty, Modern Warfare Two, Black Ops, Black Ops Two. NW3, they gonna, they're going to be at the top no matter Yeah, mm-hmm. and when it first dropped, Monitor 2 and Black Ops 2, those games came back out from Rackers Comp. The sales are up, so it's obvious that people are I mean, fight. I mean, yeah, like, it goes up at first, but, like, I felt like after, like, three months, like, if I had a chart, I guarantee after, like, three months, like, the play time of them games just went down all the way. The people are like, man, these games are 10 years old, like, you don't got the same feel. These mm-hmm. must terrible. Well, so what's I, I don't think, know. What's your I mean, what's everyone's like whole takeaway from the whole reveal of that? I was the one thing I didn't like was they didn't show off the actual release date. And, yeah, like, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I honestly think that, like them and the Xbox is playing possum with each other. Mm-hmm. First one to reveal, yep, and then they go chicken. off that. Yep. Yeah, they playing. Well, with personally, each other. I feel like this is me. Xbox is probably gonna do theirs first because they've been a little bit more. They've been a little bit more open about the about the Series X opposed to the PS Five. Like we ain't really. I'm not saying we not get we haven't gotten no little to no information about the PS Five, but it's kind of scarce compared to all the stuff I mean, we, we know the specs. about the Xbox. Yeah, I mean, yeah. but I mean, they did release there like a month or two before though. So did that spec thing that. Basically, no one liked to watch because it was boring. 
Like, they use so much technical jargon. Like, I didn't know what well, they were oh, yeah. that, that was a problem on Sony because, of course, the pandemic happened and it fucked up all their plans. Yeah. And that was supposed to be for just developing. Yeah. But they couldn't just, like, do too much work and send them a link and all that. Like, that's. I mean, I guess it's good work. that they made it public, you yeah. know, for those that actually know every, you know, want to know. Yeah, the spec nerd. Yeah. But it's nobody cool. really cared about it. Yeah, yeah, nobody like, really cared about that. Like, I, I was gonna say because like they specs is like, like gonna be like basically like, like even every single concept. Mm-hmm. Like 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 one company can't just advance ten years ahead of the other. Like they're gonna be basically equal. Like they hold. Unless you're Nintendo and you want to <laughs> just rely on your game is being fun to sell your console. Hey, well, I mean, it but it their works. target it audience works. is different though. Yeah, yeah sure. They because, knew. But, yeah. Not to compete with the other consoles, and they said, "Look, we're not doing that because that obviously didn't work." Mm-hmm. And then we tried something that kind of worked and kind of didn't. Yeah. Cause then it Don't, became the Switch. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. The only time they compete is when the Wii came out. The same same year the Xbox came out, and that Wii was in the Wii. In the Wii, in the Wii, Wii honestly, I was so out of pure novelty. Out of pure novelty, they don't need, need to give me a Switch. Just think about it. You had grandpas and grandmas. Playing. Oh, yeah, bro. My dude, I, my, my great grandma played what? They play, the Wii. Wii. They used to play the Wii. They used to play the Wii. Yeah, like Nintendo, they would want to cater to everyone. Yeah, they cater to everyone. While Sony and Microsoft, they cater towards the so called. Yeah. And plus, like, Nintendo has games that people play back in the 80s, like Mario. Mm-hmm. People will still play today, like older people. Yep. Like Sony don't, don't really have those games that somebody who played the nineties can play them now. But like you can't I, never when go I think of market. Nintendo, I think childhood fun. Oh, it's so Nintendo fun. No, Nintendo mm-hmm. more of like like you like you got you got a god dang party, but y'all got some rotel and some chips <laughs> and y'all all get on that mug and play Mario Super Smash Bros. Mm-hmm. Chomp you, chomp chomp. You can't really do that with no Sony or Microsoft game. For real. Yeah, that's, them that's games are pure online. Like nobody can come to your house and play side by side unless it's like Mortal Kombat, baby. Yeah, but even then. <laughs> you play online. The, the mm-hmm. PS2 days where you used to have mostly every game. Then was the golden days. That's because half the games didn't have online, but some of them did. You had to buy like a little internet adapter piece with the back of the PS2. Yeah. Yep. And plus, nobody yep. in the house for real had internet. Besides, you may have like a little dial-up computer. Internet wouldn't really be a thing. All right, so really- at, at this point, with everything we know about PS5 and everything we know about Xbox, if you can only get one, and I'm, I'm only getting one, which one are you going to go with? Well, I'm going to go with PS5. The I'm PlayStation. I'm always PlayStation, yeah. so I'm PS5. Xbox. The, point, the PlayStation. I can't never... I, I can't never go to the, that. Go over to the Xbox. So. Uh, look, Xbox One just kind of ruined it for me. I'm sorry. Like, and I kept trying to tell you, Kiki. Like it, it, ten years ago, I would have been open, but look, after how they fucked up, because I love Gears. And I I be wrecking niggas <laughs> on Gears, but they be fucked up Gears Five so they did bad. It. They did it wrong. Like they, they turned that into a game service. Oh my goodness, that shit is terrible. Like, how do you go backwards from Gears 4 to Gears 5? Like, they were missing so many characters. Then it was they teased. Ain't. Oh, but Batista's going to be in there. That nigga didn't show up to like a month after the game was released. <laughs> Whole shit show, man. The campaign yeah. was at. I feel like much. I feel like PS5 going to ask. Because I'm going to keep it a buck. I didn't only have the PS4 for about maybe six months now. And I didn't have a, a lot more enjoyment. <laughs> Enjoyment than I ever did on the Xbox One. I kept trying to tell y'all, but you know, nobody was listening. Like, yeah, oh, like, I'm like, Xbox for life. But uh, I kept trying man. to tell y'all, PlayStation, PlayStation will open your your range of, of play. They literally like, have they have just more games yeah. on the play on PlayStation. So like, the happens. reason why I I stick with PlayStation is because I like to play a bunch of Japanese, and they don't yeah. have them on Xbox. No, they I, sure I do. They do. It's fucking play. weird as shit. Yeah, I need my anime titties on. So if you agree with that, why don't you get? Why don't you switch over to the Grammy stage? Because I told you, the only way I'm getting a PlayStation is someone gifts it to me. Okay, we'll ask them to get you the PS5. Simple as that. Get you a sugar mama. Get you sugar. I'm wait. 
Man, look, you don't go to Walmart, they're gonna be like, all right, two lines, one for the PS5, one for the Xbox. They're gonna be like a hundred in the PS5 line and like ten the Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> That's Big how we went for the PS4 and Xbox One. They were like, all right, PS4, this line, Xbox to that line. Everybody stayed in one line and nobody went over. Yeah, Sony really got unlocked. They got better games, sexier looking system, element of surprise. That PlayStation stands out. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's the white. It, it's mm-hmm. the white. The white and the shape. Like, oh, you be like, oh, that? that's a play. Oh. Yeah, you even be like, what's yeah. that? Or you already gonna yeah. know. That's the PlayStation. Yeah, the love. Why you see the Xbox? It's so bland. It's, it's it's like, just, it's why do you have a VCR the, in here, dude? Nigga, why do you have a nigga? Why do you have a fridge? Just a con? I gotta eat too. <laughs> Bro, I know like the best versions design. I saw it was like in 2010, bro. It came out with, like like a little fake PS4 design, bro. It looks so good, bro. I gotta send it to him. Like this PS4 looks so good, bro. Back in 2010, it was just making some things in a magazine. Oh no, I wouldn't I like that. that. I mean, I, 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 I love, I love, I love it. No, I wouldn't like that. I mean, Especially black controller, that would have been broke. <laughs> I mean, it's probably it's not it's, it's probably not rage though. But hey, <laughs> one good Call of Duty like match, you would be done. Remember all the yeah. pictures of the developer version of the PS5? Yeah, the U shape thing. Oh yeah, that was goddamn developer that was scary, kit. Man. That was ew. that was scary. Dude, I, Football I people, stadium. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that developer kit is ugly. I remember they kind of trolled us too during the reveal. Like, everyone thought that the PS5 might have been like a orb shape. Like, yeah. And then they like showed like the sphere, and then like it zooms out, and there's a bunch of them, and then they, they finally combined into the PS. That's like mm-hmm. a little jab yeah, at us. I, I like that much. I, I was glad when they finally showed how it looked mm-hmm. um, horizontally. I was like, I'm not nervous in the mind. Yeah, no. Then they then they finally showed a flat. I was like, okay, it looks just as good. Cause I was, I was like, they tripping if I think I'm ever saying my console. <laughs> that is I mean, exact. Yeah. I'm posting it again in the chat if y'all didn't see it. The way it looks flat is is perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see it. Yeah. Yes, sir. What I like about it is stand, you can right? also. Oh, you think I would assume so. I think it's kind of a dick move for them to charge you extra for the stand just so you can I lay. I mean, it's Sony. So don't be surprised, yeah, but I'm with yeah. you. <laughs> you but gotta pay twenty if it don't come with the stand. stand. You know what? But they, they might they might charge you for the stand because I, I got the pro day one and it didn't come with no damn. <laughs> see, see. Maybe I didn't look in the box. So that's enough. So you, you know can what? Add another Give me 20. one second. I'm gonna take the box. <laughs> I, I, I still wouldn't recommend nobody standing consoles up ever. Even if I'm, I couldn't trust it. I mean, I, I the only the only I console I can tell you up front that I've ever stood up was the Xbox 360. That was the only I console mean, I ever I, stood up. I stood my PS3 up to take a picture of it. No. Other than I couldn't do it. PS2, <laughs> PS4, that, that, nah. I, I personally feel like PlayStation's consoles, they're meant to be like like down type shit. Not, unless man, because I like I still I still my fat PS and it won't move at all and like the fat PS3 like like like, it, like it'll stay still but I just couldn't trust it though but I, I might accidentally I, I couldn't I tr- might nope. accidentally nope. kick that mug bro and it's gonna be over for me bro no nope. I did that to my 360 once and it had a disc inside <laughs> Oh, oh man, I bet you got the circle of you death. took that bitch out, and I bet you you took that bitch out. I had a ring around it. How does that even that's fucking exactly, happen? That's exactly, <laughs> what, that's exactly what happened to my web of shadows. I was over at Red's That house. happened to my Halo 3. <laughs> Nigga, I was so... No, I, I, no, but my web of shadows, the shit still work. You got to get three rings on that bitch for it just to die completely. <laughs> God damn. And plus, but, I never want to... But that's not to take away that that bitch is... Still say disc unreadable at certain points. I just checked yeah. the box. And nah, it didn't come with no damn stand. See, that's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. See, no, so don't be surprised if, like, if if it do come with a stand, great. That means Sony was being ex generous. But if don't be surprised, yeah. it could probably, it could probably, it can probably stand, stand up like like without a stand. Though. <laughs> I'm on the verge right now, and I'm thinking about how big the PS5 is. Oh, it's huge. 
quite literally again. Okay, someone like made a comparison photo, like a little mock-up. Yeah, I'll put it in the chat. Post it in the chat. Yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know how heavy it is because the guy thing, the, the fat PS3 had to be the heaviest console in history. Mm. Yeah, that, I that still have that thing. That thing was freaking bolder. Mm-hmm. That fat PS3 was huge. Damn, oh, this is standing up don't look right. <laughs> yeah. It don't. Looks like a damn satchel charge. Like the only console that probably has ever looked good to me standing up is that 360 bucko. Because it has a slight hourglass shape. Hell yeah, yeah. That, that's the hourglass shape. Oh, you're mm-hmm. thinking about the, the slump? Yeah. I mean, the, the 360 has like a slight, slight hourglass. I like the PS3 standing up because, like, I like looking like the little, um, the little chrome where you mm-hmm. put the disc in. I like that chrome was nice on there. So, what do you guys think about the accessories that they like? The headset, the little remote, the camera, the charging the, the, the media, Look. the media, the media remote is useless. Yeah, I'm not. Oh, it, de- it depends. It depends huh? if you're watching movies and stuff. You because it's coming with that 4K Blu-ray player, and yeah. I'm a movie person. I would rather use that remote. And let my controller charge if I'm not I mean, next yeah. to it. Yeah. That. I mean, I feel like that remote is for, for somebody who like don't like know nothing about consoles. They don't work controllers. They can look at the remote where it tells them what auto button. <laughs> they think, all right. Bitch, that remote better be compatible for other TVs. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm you, definitely, you, you I'll definitely get the headset. I got the PS4 headset. The little goes. They got it. Mm. I'll get the that's what I'm saying. With all those accessories, you're definitely spending like 800 at yeah. the very least. I don't care about thousand. the camera. Yeah, but the, the, um, the controller the comes camera, in with a built in mic, though. Da, you know that's gonna be shitty. Bro. I mean, <laughs> how's that gonna boys, work boys, if boys. you're like smacking your buttons all over the fucking place? Yeah, Is it gonna boys, pick that up? Yeah. You better just probably. probably. You better just. Nigga, you better just save up and get you a Turtle Beach mic or better pray to God that the. That the well, but, not even that. If if you got a regular PlayStation mic now, you can still plug it into the jack. So that's yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Also, that's what I got. Oh, you talking about the Bluetooth? Yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, the PS4, you can use that too. The PS4 came with a good headset. The little, the little one earpiece microphone was actually good. That shit went out. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, yeah, Holy it does. Shit, go I forgot out. about that. It does. It, it, it does go out eventually. Like, I, but it, it it was actually useful though. So you so you got your own. Yeah, Dude, they even it. still sell that because I would take that. No, yeah, they sell it like yeah, they sell like a story. I still got mine. I, I've yet to use it. Nah, they work. They work perfectly. I, well, hate I guess all we can do now is look forward to the price reveal and it, it needs to hurry up. But it got it got no more than five months, bro, or maybe six months for it until they come out, bro. Like, when do you think you're gonna do price reveal, bro? Maybe. Ah, September the latest? August. Yeah, September. Yeah, September at the latest. July, oh, yeah. because if you look at it, Xbox has their event next. So when they show that price, nine times out of ten, PlayStation is probably gonna wait. What's August. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it'll, it'll most likely come out in November. They gotta give it up. They gotta give people enough time so they can save money up, or you know, go find a sugar mama. Or Man, people should have been knowing about this seven years. Been slowly <laughs> saving for seven years, waiting for this day. Watch the first thing that someone's gonna do is live stream themselves having sex like they did back in the PS4. No, <laughs> when PlayStation had the own streaming services, everybody was having sex on there. That bro. was great, like everybody. And then, and then they only banned sex. And then they took the whole thing away, bro. Like, no, you guys ruined it. We can't let you guys play with this anymore. <laughs> yeah, everybody was having sex on there. They finally ruined, finally took them uh, go. The old days. Because they finally just little stream from your PS4. And then everybody had that camera that came with it. Everybody was going crazy. <laughs> Did they reveal how much that HD camera is? Because well, I honestly would get that just live stream on Twitch. I don't even know if they have a price for the controller yet. It'll That's probably be 60. 80 bucks. Maybe 80. I mean, well, the PS3 and PS4 was sixty. I can only go out with recent thing is probably be sixty. Oh, that actually reminds me. Uh, we don't know if this is true or not, but I've been seeing like leaks, alleged leaks. The game prices might go up. 
80 bucks, right? Like 80 or 70 bucks. That is, uh, no. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I've been paying for special editions, so I'm always paying 80 or 100. Well, you're going to have to pay even more now for the special I mean, edition. Yeah. The base price yeah. is going to be more expensive. I mean, $100. Maybe, but I feel like if, if, if it goes up on one console, it'll go up on other console. I feel like they're going to be the exact same price again. Both be sixty, or both. They've been sixty dollars for the longest time. Yeah, since PS3. Uh-huh. But I know, like, since I'm gonna get like 2K, since that one's coming out first, I know it's gonna be sixty on the PS, and you probably have to like upgrade it to the PS5. So well, probably be no price. It should be. 60. You still gotta think... get that Legend Edition though, because you, you already. Yeah. I don't know if y'all saw saw the trailer. Zion. Mm. No, not design. There was a um, Ben Simmons trick. Oh yeah, yeah. I seen the Ben Simmons. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They censored it out here that they, they clear said, "Oh, that's Kobe and uh, Zion on the." Yeah. That's what it sounded like. I was gonna say. I was gonna say most of the games I'm gonna get. I'm gonna have to get on PS4 first. They all come out on PS4 first. Mm-hmm. Madden 2K. I'm gonna wait. You get them on PS4 on first. Five. You know, I don't. I don't think it'd be a good idea for them to do price jack on, on the games because they already make a lot of money from microtransactions and DLC. So yeah. it w- wouldn't be too wise for them to jack up the price if the consoles are already going to be so expensive. Well, I guess uh, that's a cue for us to probably end this episode. We covered quite. A bit. So if you guys like it, let us know in the comments. Leave a like, subscribe. Click the notification bell and remember we get enough likes, subscribe. Coconut will have one of his nudes posted on the Patreon, which will be linked in the description. And this is our first crossover episode with Warwolf's channel, so we'll probably do some more in the future. Just let us know how you guys think about that and what your thoughts on the PS5 is. Peace. Alright, guys. Peace. Peace. Hey, boy. <laughs>